Welcome everyone to another live stream lesson with me, Stu, and Ukulele Zen. I'm so happy to be presenting this really fun holiday celebration with you. We're going to be diving into Feliz Navidad, which is a favorite song of the holidays, of course. And what we're going to be doing is not only playing the song in an easy breezy strum manner, but we are going to be diving into some chord melody, some easy chord melody. So I hope you'll stick around for this entire lesson. Glad to see so many folks are here to celebrate live. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you and your families are doing well. I've got a couple of quick things to share about this lesson and then we're gonna jump right in. Please say hello in the chat. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I know many people here are not subscribed, so click that subscribe button. It really does help this channel out tremendously. There is a free four page PDF packet. I've created this for you to enjoy. Just click the link in the video description below and you can get this. You'll see that it has song sheets in the key of C. We also have a melody and uh, a chord melody rendition. There's also, just for fun, a song sheet in the key of D, which will be uh, compatible with the original recording, which is recorded in the Kia D by Jose Feliciano. So if you haven't already, please download this. As we work through this lesson, I'm going to be zooming in on my hands, taking you through everything one piece at a time. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. A couple of quick things before we begin. Yes, I have a, a Santa right here uh, <laughs> hanging off my ukulele. Do you have some holiday bling on your ukulele? Let me know in the chat. A couple of things before we, be, we begin. First of all, my intention is to uh, take you through this in an easy, breezy manner. We'll get more, uh, you know, progressively more challenging as this lesson goes on. I'll outline the whole lesson in just a moment. But I just wanna say that because this is a very popular copywritten song, YouTube is probably going to slap some advertisements on it. Um, I have no control over that, so apologies in advance if the advertisements are getting in the way. You can always mute and just strum a chord and practice some deep listening and the next thing you know that advertisement will be over and you'll be right back in this lesson glad to see so many friends here a couple other quick things as we go through this as i mentioned you can download uh, this at the link down below quick overview of the course today we're going to be having an easy breezy jam i'll share some tips for strumming uh, some nice percussive effects you can put into your strum. Then I'm going to take you through the melody one section at a time. We'll warm up our voices, pick the melody on the ukulele, combine it with chords for an easy to play chord melody rendition. And then the final section, I'm going to take you through this more fully fleshed out, but still accessible, easy to play chord melody. So stick around for this entire lesson. So glad you're here. And I want to say thank you so much to everybody who watches these videos at Ukulele Zen. I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you so much to everybody who watches. And I'm just really honored to be a guide along your musical path. Thank you so much for all the kindness, all the friendliness that you share with me. Many thanks also to the members of the Patreon community. There are links down below if you want to join, support this channel, and get some nice benefits. I'll share about that a little later. But come on, friends, let's get into things with just jamming through the song. I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit, make it a little easier for you to see. This is a pretty easy to play song. And the chords you'll need, just to go over things in a very beginner-friendly way, chords we need are C major. I'm on a low G, you can play a high G if you prefer. You also need an F major chord. Always a good idea to warm up your hand to get familiar with the chords and get familiar with the hand position where, if Santa could just move out of the way for a sec, where the 
you're not gripping tightly, right? There's a little space in there for a bird to fly through. Okay, and there will be an, an A minor chord that shows up in the chorus. Now for just easy strumming and jamming along, just play whatever feels good to you. You can play one strum per measure, you know, if that's comfortable for you, if you're just starting out, just all we're asking and what we're, all our goal is is just to play rhythm together. So I'm gonna start on the introduction chords. We'll do it nice and slow and have a good time. We're gonna go through that introduction one more time. One, two, one, two, three, four, F. Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad Break Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Verse Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Hey everybody, how you doing? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Take a big breath here. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Cha cha cha. All right, a nice, easy, breezy jam to get us started. I want to share with you some strum ideas that I just did, and then we're going to play this all over again. How are you feeling out there? I hope you're feeling the spirit of the season. We are having a great time up here in Vermont. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a member of the Ukulele Global Community. I'm really, really honored to be a guide on your path. And this whole session is not just about learning the song, but um, just giving some thanks to you. So I'm so grateful to you all. Thank you so very much. Before we get into the chord melody lesson that is gonna follow, I wanna share just a couple of things about the strum. You'll notice that um, I did two different strums as we played. First one is, some folks call this, you know, down, down, up, up, down. There's many names for this strum. You could just call it, you know, the default strum. It's really, really an easy to follow rhythm. And when we play this, it's nice and easy just to follow along. So before we warm up our voices and play the melody and pick the melody, let's focus a little bit on strumming, okay? Let's play that introduction, and I want to give you two tips for this very common strum, okay? Let's play the intro. One, two, one, two, here we go. Cool. 
two things. You can bring out more groove by being aware of where beats two and four are and playing them a little bit more accented. So that would sound like this. Just listen to me while I demonstrate this before you join in. See if you can hear where beats two and four are or even count along. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. You probably could hear it. I was counting along. Were you counting along too? Let's try it together. Count and play at the same time. We're doing this at a slow tempo, so it's easy to latch on. I, of course, want you to feel success and progress as you go through these lessons. Let's try the intro again. Counting, accenting beats two and four. And then I'm going to show you a little something you can put at the end of the, of the phrase. One, two, a one, two, three, four. You can rewind this video. This is always going to be up here for you to enjoy and practice this idea of adding accents on beat two and four. It really levels up the groove, okay? So it's a process of playing stronger on beats two and four, but also making sure that everything else is a bit softer, okay? So those accents pop out. Now, when we get to the last chord, what I'm doing is I'm adding my index finger to the first fret of the second string, and then I take it off. Let's just get comfortable with that for a sec. Add the first finger, and then off. The name of the chord when you put down the first finger changes to a C suspended fourth. But I didn't write that in because it's just one of those decorations that a player does kind of improvisatory. Where I'm placing it in the strum is one, two, and three, and four, one. So you'll see it comes on an up strum in between the beats. One, two, and three, and four, one. And then right after one, I play the break by strumming and muting. And yeah, I'm putting that little fan stroke in there. You don't have to. A little, dem little dramatic stuff. Let's try it together. Let's add it. Remember, we're adding it on the and of two. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. Do it again two more times. One more time. Here we go. Uh. Cool. So now you have something that you can always add to a C chord to make it more colorful. You can even get more fancy. Woo. If your wrist is nice and loose, you just feel these things and just let them come out. Okay, if you have any questions as we go through this lesson, we're going to keep on grooving and moving. Please drop them in the chat. I'd love to, of course, help you learn, help you grow as a player, as a musician. Just uh, drop it in the chat. And always nice if you put a whole bunch of question marks before and after so it pops out of the chat. All right, you ready to keep going? Let's work a bit with picking the melody, which is, of course, going to be the gateway into playing the uh, chord melody. We have to first know the melody in order to play chord melody. This is the page, second page, and I'm going to be zooming in on my hand to show you. I just want to let you know real quick, if you're interested in exploring chord melody, I've created a brand new course and it's 20% off through the end of this month. I'll talk about this later. There are links down below if you'd like to check out this course. And it's a course that is going to be something I'm going to be continuing to add to very accessible pathway to playing chord melody, learning tricks and uh, techniques for your fretting and picking hand while you learn some great solos 
and um, I'll tell you more about it later. But check the link down below if you want to pick that up. This is a little taste of what is in that course. First, we got to pick the melody. Now, let's just pick it. That's the first phrase. So how about we do this in a call and response fashion? I'll go first, then you'll go next. One, two, three, four, one, two. You ready? With me now. One, two. Let's drill it. Three, four, one, two. It begins after beat two. So, one, two. All right. One more time. After beat two. One, two. Nice. The next phrase also begins after beat two. One, two. When we land on the last note, that C that's on the third fret of the second string. Oops, excuse me. I recommend you land with this ring finger. You'll see why later. And by the way, if you're brand new to tablature, these four lines represent the strings. The line on the top is the line, it is the is the top string, okay? So it looks a little bit upside down at first, but what you're doing it with tablature is you're looking down the fretboard, okay? Down the strings, okay? Let's try putting these two phrases together. You can, of course, watch this lesson again anytime. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Excellent. And hey, let's get a little bit of vocal training in here. Um, every month on Patreon, I offer a holistic singing tutorial. Just a brief version of that would be to breathe deeply and in a relaxed way, sigh into each note. I'm singing down an octave. You could sing up. I'm singing with the sound of ah because it opens up the voice. All right. And then we can now play, play the same thing here. One, two. Let's try singing the words. One, two, Feliz Navidad. Two, three, four, one, two, Feliz Navidad. Excellent. Now we're gonna go through every phrase, but I want a real quick jump into how to turn this into chord melody really easily. And it's something that makes Santa wanna dance. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Please don't click away. I'm not totally goofy, just a little bit. What we're going to do here is we're going to have our chord melody at first just be a simple combination of picking the melody, following it with chord. Okay? So when we play the first phrase, join in please. One, two. Okay, it opens, uh, that open string gives us time to get to the F chord. Okay, so you play the phrase, then you follow it with the F chord. And then play the G chord once. Let go. The first note is an open string, so that's kind of easy. Just let go. Pick that first string. And then C. If you prefer, you may like to play a C5. That's open, open, three, three. Which means you don't have to hop the finger down. Or if you're flexible to do this. 
Okay, do you see what we're doing? We are making a bridge between the melody and the chords. Now that I've shown you this concept, we can go through the other sections of the melody. Let's do this one more time. And you know, of course, I want you to learn. So part of learning is practicing in a way that's effective. Practicing, I like to think of it as a game of darts. You're trying to bullseye a target, line up each shot, and in a relaxed way, just try to get a bullseye. If it misses the target, no worries. We smile, we celebrate our effort for showing up, and then we pick up the dart and we set it up again. This is very different than just doing things again and again and again and again and again, which sometimes we are repeating mistakes. If we stack successes on top of another, you'll really grow. Let's have an experience of this, something that I love to share in all my videos. Some of you already know that. Let's have an experience right now. We're gonna bullseye this first full phrase. One, two, three, four, one, two. And take your hand off and give yourself a pat on the back. Woohoo! You did it. You tried, you showed up. Showing up is everything, really. Now let's do it again and bring some attention to the moments that you have to let go and try to get that chord ready a little sooner. That's really the key is to you come off the melody and your hand is already in the chord shape. And then G, let go. You'll notice sometimes I like to pluck just the G string and then the chord, okay? So in the moments where we let go, where we have an open string, that's a nice gift. That is a gift where our hand has a moment to get ready. Let's bullseye one more time and then we're gonna move on to the second phrase. I know I'm taking time here because I want you to understand the principles. Now that we got them, we'll be able to breeze through the rest of it. One, two, three, four. One, two. your bullseye would be just to take off your hand, line up another shot, and go for it again. The next phrase begins with the exact same phrase. Really pretty melody, and we're going to decorate it in a couple of nice ways here. So let's come off the first phrase. strum an F chord. Try it with me. And just stop there. Take your hand off one more time. One, two. Cool. The next two notes, Prospero, are right inside the chord. So we can use a technique that I share in the chord melody course where we control the thumb. Control how many strings the thumb is strumming. So underneath that note for pro spero, we're strumming three strings. Pro, all four. Spero, pro spero, pro spero. All right, and you can do this in a number of ways. You may like to do them with single notes. Maybe you want to play the first one single, and then chord, or you can do it, I just did. Okay, this way you get some ownership of the way you want to play. Now, año, the ring finger hops over here to the third fret of the second string. Año y felicidad. Right there on C, if we want to make a chord melody out of it, just control the thumb again stopping it on this first string. You can also begin that phrase with a little hint of the G chord. It's a very basic arrangement and it's a good place to start. 
you're going to see later in this lesson, I'm going to share with you the more advanced one, which has more, you know, jazz in it. But this is a good place to start. How are you feeling so far, friends? Are you, are you having a good time? Are you still glad you showed up? <laughs> We're going to get into jamming the tune, but I want to share with you this process of, you know, we make friends with the melody, we see where the melody lines up with the chords, and then we just learn to let go, prepare our hand for the next chord, pick melody, pick chord, pick melody, pick chord. Let's jam this first two phrases, okay? Are you ready? One, two, a one, two. put that suspended idea back into it okay I know this might seem like it's a lot of information but you know we digest it slowly the next phrase for the chorus I want to wish you a Merry Christmas so we just start up here on the seventh fret you can slide into the note if you like So when we get down to this note at the third fret, a nice idea is to have the ring finger there so we can have our F chord to support it. So let's try playing this. How you feeling out there let me know in the chat you know as we play this the fingering choices really make a difference you could play this all with the ring finger which helps you to prepare that next phrase and once again you decide how many strings you play with your thumb right here all four open all four one note all right and now so that melody starts on the fifth fret i want to wish you a merry christmas but right here on merry i know the chord on top says c but you could strum the open strings to make it into a C chord with that melodic note on top. Let's play this one thing right here, starting here at the fifth fret. Yeah, so bit by bit we get this together. Then, you know, it's an A minor chord but we're gonna hop up here to play it again. Just like before. Now from the bottom, nice idea to play that note there at the second fret with the finger that prepares the G chord. That alone is cool passage. You can use that in a lot of, a lot of cool uh, different ways in other songs. And then we get to the last phrase. Of my heart, of my heart. To play that fast little embellishment, na na na. I pick at the seventh fret. I pull off, and then I pick with my ring finger fretting. If we're patient and we, you know, enjoy the process of just, you know, getting our fingers to do what we want them to do, practice becomes meditation. You know, it becomes less of a struggle and more of, wow, I'm going to try to get my finger to do this thing. 
Remember the idea of the bullseye, right? It's playing darts. Take your hand off often, set up another shot. All right, my friends, how you doing? I want to, um, I want to, um, go through the, the last two phrases and then we're going to learn something else. Of course, I'm going to take some questions as we go. One, seventh fret. One, two, three, four, one. with that suspension did you notice if probably you did notice although you're practicing on your own you may have noticed that I'm playing this in a very free tempo great way to practice free tempo allows you to find your way to the well, find your way through the passages noticing where the challenges are Ooh, what are the things I need to remember oh getting my ring finger there Okay, so play with free tempo and then try to add uh, the, the steady tempo later. All right, we should just jam and play the song one more time and then we're going to get into this, which is not as hard as you may think. I'm going to break it down for you. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supports this channel on Patreon. There are links down below if you'd like to support and get every month bonus content there are vocal lessons to help you um, open up your voice in a meditative way I also want to let you know that this chord melody course this very accessible chord melody course is available at a link down below if you've already picked it up and you're working through it and you're enjoying it please let me know it's brand new let me know in the chat I'm really really pleased to be interacting with you in the course you can always ask questions on any of the chapters. The course is divided up into digestible sections of video lessons with PDFs, and it's a course that I will be adding to to keep you inspired, new arrangements. But there are 10 great solos in part two, and it begins with part one, seven detailed lessons, really that take you from very, very simple, basic, fundamental skills that'll help you build the bridge from strummer to soloist. So if you're into it, it's available right down there at the link in the video description. Thank you so much. I hope you and your families are doing well. Wishing you lots of love and many blessings for the season. Just so grateful to y'all for your kindness and for your support. Thank you so much. Um, somebody asked, any oh so kind thank you all thank you so much mark thank you cheryl thank you tina greetings to germany thank you danke schön yeah. <laughs> i have an arrangement of that at my store oh yeah by the way everything is 20 percent off any book, any course that you want to get, it's uh, at a link in the video description down below. All right. Oh, Linda from Buffalo, my old stomping ground. Glad to see you here. All right, cool. Well, you know, uh, this is a lesson that, yeah, it's, it's detailed. I appreciate you jumping in, Mark. You and your son hanging out. I was playing with my uh, four-year-old, almost four-year-old before, jamming. He let me borrow his Dancing Santa for this lesson. Take this stuff slow and know that the first step is, you know, just playing. Just getting the melody under your fingers. And then, you know, bridging the gap between the melody and the chords. There is some technical hurdles there. It's all about letting go and preparing the hand. Yeah, you'll get it. You will get it. Uh, Molly, glad you're here. From Hong Kong, glad you're here. Oh, Hank from Cyprus. Wow, I don't know if I've ever had anybody from Cyprus watching. This is so cool. Um, let's keep going. Um, please check the links down below if you want to check out um, the things that I mentioned before. But let's zoom in and get into a little more detail. This 
you know, you don't have to take this literally. You can find your own way through this lesson. I want to mention that these arrows here, okay, it looks like it's an up, but it's moving down through the strings. So up arrows are down strums. Okay, down arrows are really up strums. Okay, some of you are already familiar with that. I wanted to make sure that it was clear to everybody. So what we have here in this first phrase is kind of similar to what we did before. Later, it's going to get a little different. We're going to add some, some nice harmonies. Let's play through this. One, two, three, four, one, two. That's one go around. Take your hand off. Say hello to Santa. Take a breath. Take a sip of tea. And let's do it a second time. One, two, three, four, one, two. And that's how we practice, letting go more and more each time. And it is never a bad idea. It's quite a brilliant idea to just go so slow. That way you really develop a uh, precision and accuracy. You're playing it correctly with a loose touch. When you go this slowly, you'll notice, ah, there's actually quite a bit of space between G and that open string. There is time for me to relax. <laughs> All right, so g practice like a glacier or a glacier if you're from uh, the UK. Now we're gonna play the same phrase, but I'm really stoked because we're gonna get into some thirds. We play a lot of thirds and sixes in the chord melody course. I love my thirds, I love my sixes. So we begin with a downstrom of the C, and then we return to that phrase. Full chord, we gotta hop to the fifth fret with the second finger. And then my ring fingers here. Let me just play it without talking so you can hear it. Three, four, one. So we're playing the same melody as before harmonizing with thirds. All right, the technical challenge is to get from your F chord. So join me, please play your F chord. This middle finger has to hop over here to the fifth fret. Just do that. Take your hand off. Ready? F. Hop your middle finger right there. And smile. You can't see my face, but I'm smiling. <laughs> It's fun to train your hand. I know my lessons are very boring for some people. Some people really dig them. I appreciate you very much if you dig them. If you're willing to go slow like this, you, you break through. At least that's my experience. Okay, now you landed there. Now this finger has to land there for the rest of the phrase. That's the first pair of thirds. It's an F and an A. Okay. Then you move here, middle finger slides down to the fourth fret, index fingers there, so you get another pair of thirds. Notice how I'm picking with my thumb and controlling my thumb. It stops on the string. When it stops, it's not you know, pulling on the string, it's just coming to rest. So let's get comfortable with that first pair, five and five, down here. Practice like a glacier, Nemo Cook fan. Thanks for being here. Now one more. 
and then open. I can't tell you how much I love playing thirds. I could just hang out all day. It's like my favorite hammock related <laughs> jamming. Just bounce off that G string and play thirds in the key of C. It's, it's a cool game. So there we go. Are you ready to put this together? Hopefully you're noodling a bit and finding it. And then when you get to the C, remember about that suspended. You can put that right there at the end. Okay, are you ready? C. One, two, three, four, one, two. didn't sound exactly like me no sweat maybe you were just keeping up with the motions maybe you have a different rhythmic uh, approach that's fine you know one of the things that's baked into the course that I'm talking about is I want you to find your own way to play these things you know so rather than give you uh, you know notation that you must obey these are meant to be springboards for your own ideas let's practice one more time and then I really want to show you the rest of the solo because it gets very juicy are you ready Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, the next phrase. We're going to play the same thing. Remember, we went up here to the seventh fret. But we're going to play it in thirds. Okay, so 8th fret, 7th fret. Now our index finger is going to stay on the 1st string, slide down. Okay, and get to know these two shapes really well. See so how my index finger is the guide. And now this same shape just hops down 2 frets. Now here's a technical challenge. You're going to go like from here, open. Okay, so we are essentially playing the same melody as before, but it has a different quality. Okay, so two strings, hop down, and then up here. And I'm also muting them afterwards. So this is the process. You just get friendly with each little motion. And then the G, you're going to play this. Using some of those same thirds from before. So begin up here at the G chord. Notice there's a rest on beat one. You can play the open G string on beat one if you want. So it would be like one. The fingerings I'm using. Notice my ring finger is already where it needs to be, so I just go back home to this. Remember this character from before? You made friends with it? Remember this guy from before? Remember this? Starts to sound a bit like Mozart. So these thirds, such a cool sound. I know I'm going slow. Are you still watching? Am I boring you to tears? I really want you to learn. That's why I teach slowly. Let's try the whole thing from the top. One, two, three, four, one. go how's your thumb is it full of tension no worries just relax it as you get more comfortable with this you're going to be able to have a thumb that's soft okay 
Now the same thing happens, but I made it a little juicier by adding a third note. I went. Optional, you don't have to play the full three note. That's an A minor triad. That's an A minor triad. Back here we were playing just two notes, here we're playing all three notes. And then it just moves on in the same way. So. There's that same motion from before. Okay, now it's going to go. So that's the bottom. From the bottom of my heart. And then I added this. Five, three, this little. Nice little thing you can put on a C chord. This is more challenging than the first approach, but you know, all of this is included in the PDF that's available for download, and then it repeats. Excuse me. Come on back. Okay. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so this is a lot of detail. And you know, you can get this breaking it down one section at a time. It's hopefully you can see it's very similar to what's played here. Just has some more specific. So, are you enjoying yourself? This is the more challenging of the two uh, versions of the chord melody. And uh, compared to what is in the chord melody course, this is one of the more advanced things. Most of the solos in the first section, very, very accessible gateway entrances. Although you'll see by the fourth lesson you're playing... melody rendition of Aloha Oi. So that is all available at the link down below. Hope you'll check it out. Please let me know what questions you have before we go and uh, wrap up today with just a fun strum along jam one more time. Uh, Linda, I will answer your question. I hope you're still here. You lost on the thirds, no sweat. So so what we do is we take a look at this passage right here. Over the G chord, we're playing at the 7th fret and the 5th fret. And what these are, these are members of the G chord. But it's the G chord, the, the notes of the G chord are now placed in a different voicing. Okay, so that no B and D 
instead of being you know, here and here, they're here. So this is not only a way to play the solo, but it's vocabulary of how you can play over these chords in the future. So I hope that that clears that up. Linda, the fingers I'm using are three and one, three and one, two and three. So rewind that section of the video. You can get this just by breaking down. Breaking down the different parts of this solo. Now, one last thing that was included in the packet was strumming in the key of D. If you want to uh, strum that, it is the last page because Jose Feliciano recorded this in the key of D. But this is our key of C, ukulele friendly chords. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Feliz Navidad. I hope your families are doing well. Wishing you good health and many blessings for the next year. I have some fun things in store for this channel uh, for 2024. So I hope you'll please click subscribe. If you got value out of this lesson, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help uh, my content to get spread around YouTube to more people. So it's a big help. Thank you for clicking the like button. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. And um, if you'd like to join the community, check out some of the things I've listed before. There are links in the video description below. Thank you very much. Happy holidays to you all. Wishing you all the best. Let's jam the intro. Here we go. F. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Pero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Here we go. Test drum. <laughs> Oops. Let's try this one more time. Oh. Remix. <laughs> a one, two, a three, four. Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad 
Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Steve Witten, love you too, brother. Wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. want to wish you a Merry Christmas. want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, friends. So that's what it's all about, just jumping in playing the song from your heart. If you want to, you know, hang with some of the more difficult things that I, uh, some of the more challenging things I outlined, just sit with this video, go through the process I mentioned before about shooting darts, you know, lining up each shot. You'll be amazed that when you work in that way, it feels like you're going slowly, but because you're stacking successes on top of one another, you end up reaching your goals a lot quicker than you might think. Many thanks. What a what a what a gift to have Steve Witten in the house. For those of you who don't know, Steve Witten and I was the first electric guitar jam and I ever did <laughs> way back in high school. And uh, if you're still watching all the way to the end, uh, some insider information. I may be cutting my hair soon, which is not important. I'm going to be cutting it uh, to donate it to Locks of Love, the cancer-related uh, organization that makes. Uh, wigs and hair pieces for people who have lost their hair through chemotherapy and uh, because I won't have my hair pretty soon I wanted to while I still can I wanted to do my David Crosby impersonation for you because this is one of the last times I can do it have a cold that you can live by <laughs> everybody has clicked away anyway that's my news i hope that you and your loved ones are doing well having a wonderful holiday season Thank you so much for all your kindness, for your support. Some of you have been jamming along with my lessons for years. If you're brand new or if you've been here for a long time, I just want to let you know that I truly appreciate you. I wish you well. Please check out the other lessons on my channel. I think you'll find them helpful and relaxing and hopefully encourage you to have a music practice that's playful and really satisfying. So many, many thanks. <laughs> yeah, my David and Crosby impersonation. It's a very soft pick, but it works. <laughs> All right, everybody. Love you so much. Thanks for joining in. Happy jamming. Happy holidays. All love.